Okay, now what I'm going to do is tell you about the propulsion systems on both the Akron and the Macon. Uh, there's a total of eight uh, engines uh, propelling the, uh, both the Akron and the Macon. And uh, you can see right there that is what you're looking at there is the, uh, just the propellers on the outside of the envelope. Uh, the Germans, of course, because they're full of hydrogen, had to go ahead and keep their engines on the outside of the uh, envelope, whereas the Americans are using helium, and uh, that's an inert gas, so they can go ahead and put their engines on the inside. And if you look right over here, we can go ahead and we can see the engine room right there. That is one of the eight engine rooms on each of the airships right there. And what you're looking at there is a 500 an 80 horsepower, five, sorry, 560 horsepower German Maybach engine. And uh, the way they control that from the, uh, the control car itself, uh, up uh, in this section right up here, you can see the, uh, the telegraphs that were used. Just like aboard a ship, uh, they use those telegraphs to notify each of the engine rooms whether they want to go forwards, backwards, stop, or whatever the, it is they want to do. And uh, down here I can have a, a, a little demonstration of how they were able to gain the, uh, uh, the individual machinist mates uh, uh, his attention to tell them what they want to do. That is the way they did it. And you can look up here and, and see the, uh, the total of the eight, uh, eight uh, telegraphs uh, that are available up there.